Kais. Okay, next, uh, since uh, uh, we have we have our last presenter here, yeah? uh, Pepa ID 14. We will be presented by Dr. Ferdaus Cherifi. Okay, let's welcome Dr. Uh, Dr. Ferdaus on uh, chemical composition and characterization of the palm empty fruit bunch fiber of five varieties growing in Southeast Algeria. Okay, welcome, uh, Dr. Ferdaus. Yes, I'm here. I can hear you. Yeah. Can you please start sharing your screen? Yes, yes. Now, now it started. Okay, we can see it now. But please uh, okay. like, uh, go to like uh, full screen mode. Yes. Uh, first, hello okay. everyone. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Maito. Uh, hello everyone, I am uh, Ferdus Shirifi, PhD student in Applied Chemistry from University of Urila, Algeria. Uh, my study is entitled Chemical Composition and Characterization of the Date Palm Entry Fruit Benches Fiber uh, Growing in Southwest Algeria. Uh, first, let's start with birth introduction. Uh, in recent years, natural fiber have drawn considerable attention as alternative to synthetic fiber in composite materials. Due to its advantages, such as biodegradability, renewability, wide availability, low density, and low cost. Lignocellulosic fiber is the fiber that can be obtained from plants, for example, hemp, cedar, uh, jute, bamboo, and the date palm tree, which is considered as one of the interesting sources of natural fiber. Uh, according to the recent report, there are more than 100 to 120 million date palm tree worldwide, uh, with 70% in Middle East and North Africa. In Algeria, there are about 18 million palms and more than 800 varieties. As a result, date palm produce a huge amount of waste every year. Uh, this interesting biomass have been used since Asian and made in traditional materials. Now it is developed to be used in industrial applications. Uh, so many studies, uh, therefore, so many studies have been focused on, on the investigation of date palm fiber for determining the suitability and compatibility for different applications. They reported that the date palm have a high performance in several technological applications such as packaging, automotive parts, and aerospace industries. Uh, the behavior of natural fiber should be studied before combining them with the matrix in order to understand their uh, actual contribution to, to composite materials or for any other application. It was reported in many studies that the chemical composition of the fiber have a strong influence on the mechanical, thermophysical properties, and from that it affects the end use applications. The focus of this study is determination and comparison of the mean chemical composition content for uh, uh, studying, uh, studying the surface morphology, investigation of the Fourier transform and Fourier spectroscopy analysis, calculation of crystallinity index for five cultivars of date palm and chief with benches fibers growing in Southwest Algeria. The selected date palm cultivar for this study are the Galit Nor, the Galal Baida, the Gars, and Tontbush, the car, from the region of Urgla, Algeria. All samples were vertically cut to small pieces, cleaned with top then distilled water, oven dried for three days at 60 degrees, until a constant weight. Chopped then passed it, uh, through a 0.32 millimeter laboratory safe. The chemical composition was determined by measuring the content of lignin, holocellulose, and alpha cellulose, each and ethanol polyurian extracted as well, using different standards and methods resumed in this table. The shopped fiber were directed in mixture of tonia ethanol. The waste, the weight loss during this step is defined as extracted. Lignin content was determined by treating the obtained fiber from the previous treatment with sulfuric acid solution, then deviated after stirring, boiled, filtered, washed, and dried in oven to constant weight. The holocellulose content was determined by removing lignin using hydrogen peroxide. 
with uh, this process was repeated three times to ensure the complete remo removal of lignin. The alpha cellulose content was determined by treating the whole cellulose with sodium hydroxide solution. The hemicellulose content is the difference between the whole cellulose and the cellulose. The each content calculated after calcination of the simples at 515 degrees. The result shows that the percentage of the studied compound is relatively close. The amount of ethanolpurian extracted is varying from 1.81 to 2.9 percent. The highest yeast content was de 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 detected in Begadal by that cultivar, 7.26 percent, while the cow cultivar has the, has the less percentage, 4.32 uh, 23 percent. Cellulose, lignin, and hemicellulose content are resumed in this graphic. As it presents, the cellulose content for the four first cultivar is approximately close, but the Glabida has the highest amount, 49.28%, while the cultivar is characterized with the highest lignin content compared to the others. The hemicellulose amount is almost similar for the five cultivar. Concerning the Fourier transform infrared analysis, it was carried out using Shimadu FTER 8300 spectrophotometer with depressing the powdered fiber and KBR bills. The main interest of these studies, uh, the main interest of this analysis is determination of the functional group. The resulted spectrum is shown in this figure. The fiber presented the typical vibration bond of different chemical functional groups of lignin, hemicellulose, and cellulose. And these bonds are the OH functional group from the polysaccharide at 3,406, the bond at 1,749 of the carbonyl stretching vibration of ester group in hemicellulose, the bond at 1,630, uh, 38 that presents uh, the OH of absorbed water, the bond from 100, uh, 1,604 to 1,420 are characteristic of lignin functional groups, the OH functional groups that uh, at 1,125 Uh, the morphology of the Chopit fiber was tested using the skinning electron microscopy coupled with energy depressive X-ray. All the fiber samples were gold coated. The surface morphology is presented in this image. Observing the SAN graphs of the five cultivar, we clearly see the amperties localized on the fiber surface. These amperties are lignin and hemicellulose. The, the cup cultivar show more particle, particles and layer than the others. And that might have a relation with the high lignin content previously registered in the chemical composi composition analysis. The spectral image gener generated by ADX is presented in this figure. We noted that beside, beside the carbon and the oxygen, the fiber consists of elements such as potassium, chlor, with a varying weight percentage. The magnesium was detected only in Tonbosch cultivar. Uh, the magnesium was detected only in Tonbosch cultivar uh, with a small amount. Palladium and uh, the palladium was also present in the, in the tested sample probably sourced from pollution. And it is notable that with the exception of the magnesium, the five cultivars benefit similarity in the mineral composition with close quantities. For the X-ray diffraction analysis, it was carried out using the X-ray diffraction meter and the crystallinity index was calculated using the following equation. The X-ray patterns of the five cultivar are exhibited in these figures. As a general appearance, the patterns of the Gla of the Glatnor, the Glalbaida, and Lars are almost similar with regard to their crystalline, crystalline structure. 
a defined it peak uh, is localized around 22.7 and another around 60 degrees. These two peaks are the crystalline and the amorphous area respectively, but their intensity are called similar. And that's my uh, be due to the high content of the lignin, uh, the high content of the amorphous structures in the study it's simple. The tont burst cultivar uh, patterns didn't show any diffraction, but the carb cultivar patterns exhibit more peaks than the usual X-ray spectrum of the date spawn fiber. This table, this table presents the crystallinity index of the Gilet node, the Gilet Baida, and uh, Algars. Uh, as a conclusion, in this study, the chemical composition and characterization of five cultivars of date spawn and tree fruit benches fiber was investigated. The obtained result led to this conclusion. The chemical composition content was approximately close. The labeda has the highest cellulose content, while the lignin was high in the decal cultivar. The FTER analysis shows similarity in functional group compared to the other lignocellulosic fiber reported in literature. And the ADX indicates similar, similar composition content for the five cultivars. The SAM images show that the fiber surface are covered with a lot of impurities, especially the decal cultivar. The highest crystallinity was detected in the beta cultivar. In the end, it is noted that a further chemical treatment is required to ameliorate the, char the characteristic of the fibers. This is some reference that I have used. And thank you for your attention. Thank you, Ms. Firdaus Sharifi. Uh, is there any question uh, from the floor? Is there any question? No? Well, I have a question. Uh, if possible. Yes. Uh, okay. uh, thank Dr. you so Midani. much, uh, Dr. Firdaus, for this uh, uh, interesting presentation. You did a great mm -hmm. job. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, like I have noticed that uh, like uh, several researchers from Algeria, uh, I mean, they have been working specifically on the fruit bunch. Uh, and uh, I mean, I see less uh, researchers working on rachis or, or the midribs from Algeria. Uh, I don't know why specifically the fruit bunch. Uh, I have another question uh, related to the uh, crystallinity index. Uh, I have seen that perhaps the values of the crystallinity index were a bit uh, low. I don't know which method have you used to calculate the crystallinity index. Is it the Seagal method or the other method? Uh, and uh, these are my two questions. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Uh, so for, for the first question, uh, there is a lot of studies in Algeria that use uh, that studied other uh, uh, parts from the date palm, but uh, like they focus like uh, the cereal, they focus in the sped extreme fiber. But for me, uh, I I did I did others uh, anal uh, the parts of the date palm, not only the mother, but here I just presented uh, the the sped extreme fiber. And there is a lot of another studies that uh, like studied the characteristic of all the parts of the, all the byproducts of the date palm fiber. But maybe they are not like published or something, but I have, I know some professors that studied the, like all the part of the byproducts of the date palm. And for the second question, uh, for the second question, yes, it's real that the crystallinity index is very low. That's uh, like very, uh, surprising for me too, but uh, I used the high uh, high peak area, I think, this uh, this equation. It's called the high peak area now. But I think the problem is on the analysis, the, uh, the, the engineer that did the analysis for me, maybe they, he, he took, like, uh, as, 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 as I said, the, the, I used the fiber without treatment. 
That means it contains a lot of lignin and hemicellulose. I think that the engineer who did the analysis to me, he took like, when he did the analysis, he took like a, a big quantity of lignin and the, the, the powder, the powder that's produced after shopping. He took a big quantity from it, then the cellulose fiber. And that's why I like, uh, how do I say, hypothesis for me. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, uh, I mean, if I may suggest, uh, I mean, uh, you can uh, like uh, contact Lobna. She has a good experience in, I mean, calculating the, like the crystallinity index and the crystalline percentage. I mean, I think uh, you, you may try to recalculate the values. Uh, they might uh, contain some errors perhaps. Uh, and I'm sure Lobna will be uh, willing to help with this. Thank you so much for your presentation. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Firdaus, for the Welcome. presentation. and. Uh,